We start with an extremely busy night for Kansas City firefighters. Several fires across KC as the 4th of July holiday came to a close. Take a look at this map. These are just some of the fires we have sent our photographers to overnight. Wow. All that have either been uh, pretty dam pretty damaging, caused some damages homes or not so much, but all of them been reported throughout the evening. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan is at East 54th Street and Euclid, where one of those fires broke out. Charlie, have we learned anything about how this might have happened? We're hearing from the neighbors here, Lindsay, that some suspect fireworks caused this house behind me to catch fire. Those neighbors do tell us that there are people who live in this house, but they are okay after the fire, not living here at the moment. As you can see there on the front porch, some pretty badly damaged and burned uh, pieces of wood. And even in the inside of the house, uh, the more fire damage inside. Also, on the back side of the house, we've seen some uh, fire damage as well. We have some video footage from overnight. This fire started at about midnight or so. That's when uh, the fire department got the call, at least, and was dispatched to this location. They were able to uh, kind of attack the fire from both inside and outside of the building. There was kind of a uh, block party, 4th of July celebration happening on the street uh, right before the fire took place, which is, I think, partly why some of the neighbors think fireworks may have been to blame for this fire. Now we're going to skip to another part of town here near Thompson and Bales um, in the kind of northeast part of Kansas City on the north side of Independence Avenue or Highway 24. There is a, there a fire did some pretty bad damage to the front of a house. The fire department though uh, put that out and has not told us any specifics about what caused that fire or if anyone living in that house was injured in the fire. So this morning there's still a lot uh, to kind of group and piece together as a result of all these fires from overnight. We're still working to get exact confirmation of what started these fires and whether anyone was injured in these fires, working with the fire department to get those answers. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.